Hi guys, this is Azi Kırdar with 365 Optimal Health and Fitness. Today I'll be talking about the negative effects of having breast implant and how to counteract the negative side effects of that having breast implant. Uh, it's, it's not a rocket science, it's pretty simple, I'm going to explain it why. Our pectoralis muscle is extremely important for our back strength, for our posture, and we have to have a full range of motion on our pectoralis muscle, which is our chest muscle. Once you have a breast implant here, First of all, as soon as you come out of your surgery, you're going to develop a lot of scar tissue around your breast, breast implant, which means scar tissue is like a glue. It's, it feels like a glue, and you have a limited range of motion. So every time whoever goes to a surgery, especially a breast implant situation, they need to work right after surgeries with a, probably some soft tissue therapies who's going to break down the scar tissue around the breast implant so you will be able to gain as much as you can the range of motion on your pectoralis muscle. Uh, most of the time your plastic surgeon will not going to tell you about this, this side effect because he may lose a business. I understand that part too. Uh, but I'm going to explain you today what is the real truth. So once you have a breast implant here, if you don't work with a, if you don't work with a health provider, maybe soft tissue therapist to break down your uh, scar tissue and regain your range of motion, this is what's going to happen to you on, on your body on the what's long run. What's going to happen to you? You're going to get a lot of compression on this neurovascular sleeve. And in the long run, you will start losing the functioning of your arms, your fingers. Potentially, if you have a really big breast implant, if you have a lot of compression here, you may even start developing a nerve damage down to your arms. In the long run, you may end up having a neurological surgery. This is very serious health problem in the long run. Of course, your doctor is not going to mention you that because this is a pretty important situation. Uh, and also, I would like to sh show you the pectoralis minor muscle right here underneath pectoralis major as you can see from here it comes from crocoid process and attaches to i believe second third and fourth rib so right underneath this muscle there is a neurovascular sleeve runs so this is the first side effect of this is the first side effect of having a breast implant okay this is not finished here so what is what does that mean once your chest muscle doesn't have a full range of motion, this is what's going to happen to you in the long run. Look where we're going to go from here. You're going to have a short pectoral muscle. It's going to bring your shoulders internally to turn in. At that moment, you're going down. Why? Because you're going to have a short pectoral muscle, long infraspinatus, supraspinatus, rhomboid, long back muscles. You already now start developing an imbalanced muscular system. What does that mean? If you want to train your back muscles, you won't be able to train it because you're losing the full range of motion function of your pectoralis muscle. Because there's a lot of scar tissue built here, compressing your nerves and doesn't allow your pectoralis muscle to stretch it out. And I work with these ladies every day in my office. So what I understand, when you have a short pectoralis muscle, you're, you're going to start slowly developing kyphosis. Kyphosis, kyphosis means your thoracic spine, your mid-back, is going to be sticking out slowly like this. And in the long run, you will develop really, really weak spinal muscles, mini, mini muscles here, which is the deeper layer, fifth and sixth layer of your back muscles. I'm not talking about superficial muscles. So which that means, in the long run, this is what's going to happen to you. First of all, you're going to develop a weak back muscles. Potentially, you may hurt your spine and then potentially you may start developing a chronic back pain just because of you had a breast, breast implant. And after that, you're going to have a, once you have a short pectoralis muscle, you're going to have a short abdominal muscles because you're developing kyphosis sticking out, which means you won't be able to breathe properly because your diaphragm when you breathe is supposed to go this way and come back. So not from your chest. So your breathing is going to be going down just because of your breast implant. Then after that, if this is long, if this is short, that means your psoas muscle, your hip first hip flexor muscle, your lower abdominal posterior lumbar chain muscle psoas is going to be start getting long. At that moment, you're going to start losing your athleticism. If you want to jump high, run fast, you won't be able to use those muscles because one of your hip flexor muscles, psoas, is going to be long. So everything starts from your chest, start going down. 
at this moment when your psoas is long, most likely your glutes will may start turning off. And then a lot of problem, it, it can go all the way down to your legs just because of it started here. Or in some cases, of course, it starts from bottom from our foot, goes all the way up. But in this case, in breast implant case, everything starts from top. You may potentially in the long run lose the functioning of your hands, arms. You will potentially have a nerve damage. You may potentially hurt your spine here, pop a disc. You may especially, especially if you, especially if you plan on being pregnant, and if you have a weak, deeper thoracic spine muscles, you are under risk of developing a chronic back pain for the rest of your life. I've been trying to explain to a lot of my clients who have breast implant. I understand a lot of ladies, they will not gonna give up on their breast implant no matter what. I don't tell them to give up, but I tell them to do the undo damage. So which means, my advice, if you would like to keep your breast implant and still be healthy, avoid any of those injuries that I show it to you, you will have to first of all work with a scar tissue therapist, soft tissue therapist mainly, after your surgery, few sessions you're gonna go, it's gonna open up your pectoralis muscles, which means you will be able to train your back muscles properly. If this is tight, no matter what, you won't be able to train your thoracic spine region properly. You cannot build a spinal strength, which means you will always be imbalanced for the rest of your life. That's why your plastic surgeons advise you after your surgery, oh, don't train your chest. That's the worst thing to say, because he knows if you try to train your chest, you may pull a tendon, you may hurt yourself, because there is no range of motion there left. But he will not going to explain you this, because he may lose your business. So, if you want to keep your breast implant, please understand what are the side effects, and please work with that professional therapist who's going to help you to break down the scar tissue, you're going to regain your range of motion on your chest, and then right after that, when you have a full range of motion on your chest, which will also take the compression away from your neurovascular sleeve, so you will save your fingers as well, and then after that, with a corrective exercise, we will develop a spinal strength, thoracic spine strength, and then your posture will come back to normal, which means your shoulders are not going to be sticking out anymore, your ears are going to be ahead of your uh, spine, so this is usually the case. So, so in long story short, we will avoid the kyphosis, we will avoid some uh, spinal injury, we will avoid some uh, long-term chronic back pain. If you plan on being uh, pregnant, don't be pregnant with a uh, weak, deeper back muscles you will suffer from chronic back pain for the rest of your life. Don't forget, after you have a baby, you're going to carry your baby on your hand for a year or two. So, you know, be careful. That's going to make your back worse. Understand what is health and understand what are the side effects of breast implant what, and what needs to be done to avoid the side effects. That's all I wanted to tell you guys today. So I'm not telling you give up on your breast implants, but if you would like to really have a breast implant, work with a therapist, not doctor, because doctors, they only know medicine and they only know how to give you a surgery. So if you have any questions, please contact me down below. And if you like my video, please hit the like button. Thank you.